Previously on the bill. All right, ladies. Well, shouldn't you lot be out directing traffic? Jim and I, we're finished. And so are we, Roger. That man killed my wife. Well, he's not going to get away with it because I'm not going to let him. Stop! Just calm down! That's a hot spot for dealing. There's only two of them there now. But in a couple of hours, there'll be four or five of them. We had an assault recently where they beat up a street cleaner. Yeah? They used to keep their stash in old milk cartons in the gutter to keep them close. The cleaner had only been sweeping them up, hadn't they? Sierra Oscar to all units. Young IC1 female reported wandering through traffic on the Kellett Lane dual carriageway. Can anyone deal? That must be her. Sierra Oscar from 275, show us dealing. Yeah, I can hear you, I'm fine. She's at her wrist. She should be all right. What's your name, love? No, what's your name? Look, I need to know who you are and where you live. Do you understand? Okay, okay. You can't hear, you're deaf. I understand. Hang on a minute. We need to get a signer, you know, take a St. Hughes, get that wrist seen to it, all right? Okay, Mum. She was trying to kill herself. You sure? She saw that lorry, stepped right in front of it. Well, well done you in that case. Mum? What? I think she wants to go with you. All right, I'll take her, you follow me. Okay, Mum. Could have been the shortest stint I've ever seen. Squished like a cat on your first day. You're all heart. Not me, I'm famous for it. What are you doing here? You're not due back till next week. Another day indoors and I turn into a basket case. So, I thought I'd come and surprise you, more. Well, I hope you're fit. I hope you're taking more time off because you jumped the gun. No, occasional shortness of breath, the doctor said, but he did give me the all clear. So, no permanent damage from the fire. Oh, glad you're back. You've been missed. And how are you? Constitution of an ox. What's the story here? She can't hear, she can't speak, she's got a broken wrist and she doesn't lip read. Is she English? Brilliant. Excuse me. Me? English? You? She's Rosa Salcedo. From Brazil. Check out immigration. She might be illegal. Where am I going to find the Portuguese signer? Are you done? Yeah. I heard you were starting. First day? Yeah. Yeah, I'm Gary Best, DC. Roger tells me you've been playing chicken with the traffic, is that right? Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Mm, that was great what you did, well done. I wonder when I was going to bump into you again. Mm -hmm. You two know each other, do you? We did the instant response training together. Yeah, the less said about that, the better. Oh, why? Because he passed and you didn't. While we're stating the obvious, Gary, can I mention that you've got a big mouth and a small brain? We all heard what you said to Lance and Laura about uniform yesterday. What? Oh, that all we're good for is directing traffic. Oh, don't you think you better apologise? Well, there was only messing about. But I hope you're not as sensitive as this lot.
PC Casper, PC Valentine, Sun Hill. Do you know Rosa Salcedo? Rosa Salcedo? No, I don't. She says she's your domestic. Well, yes, of course we know her. What's happened? Oh, come we come in. Salcedo is our name, not Rose's. She's Martinez, Rosa Martinez. And she lives with you? Yeah, she has lodgings downstairs. What's happened to her? She's in St. Hugh's A&E. Well, is she all right? She's broken her wrist. We found her in a day state wandering between lanes on the Kellett Lane dual carriageway. Oh, my God. Rosa told us she's from Brazil, is that right? She's legal, if that's what you mean. We checked with immigration, they've never heard of her. Well, I'm not surprised if you don't have her name right. They'll have her details if you try again with Martinez. Do you have any idea why Rosa might want to kill herself? Kill herself? We think that was her intention. No. Mrs. Salcedo? Um, may I see her, please? I'm supposed to be looking after her. If you think she tried to kill herself, I really want to know if she's all right. Oh, your boyfriend called for three times already. Any message if he calls again? No. You're welcome. Honey, is everything all right? Is something up with Scott? Why don't you just leave it alone? I'm worried about you. Yes, you're worried. That's the problem. Did you talk to him? Yes, we had a talk about him supposedly hitting Karen. He didn't like it. Right. He's got nothing to hide, Yvonne. Just because I had a domestic row, it doesn't mean he was the one who murdered her. How can you be so sure? You've only known him five minutes. All I want is for you to go into this with your eyes open. They are open. What Scott needs is support, not a whispering campaign. So if you really want to help, back off. So how long's Rosa been working for you? About four months. She's the cousin of someone who works for a family friend in San Paolo. Rosa, I can't stand on the center. Excuse oh. me, what are you doing? Calma, calma. Eu estou aqui para ajudá-la. Well, hang on, what are you saying? Let go of her, can't you see she's frightened? But something's obviously getting to her. If you give me a chance, I'll find out what it is. I think it's you. Oh, don't be ridiculous. I think I know Rosa a little better than you do. If you let her calm down, then I can communicate with her, you know? I can do that. Who are you? Carol Dwight. I had a call from Sun Hill asking me to come to the hospital. I'm the Portuguese translator. Uh, can you sign as well? A bit of English signing, yes, but not Portuguese. They told me I'm a stopgap. OK, right. You try and find out what the matter is, and you can wait out here. I know this girl. I can help. You can help by waiting out here. Come on. Sit down. Stay there and don't move. Rosa won't go either. She doesn't want to go back to their house. Why? Mostre yield. Está tudo bem. Você pode mostrar ele. What's that from? It's not from the road. Como é que isso aconteceu? George Salcedo. That's her employer. No, don't worry, she won't have to go back. Você não tem que voltar. It's okay, don't worry. You've told us now. What are you doing? I'm trying to talk to you. This is my work, Scott. You shouldn't be here. Last night. Where'd you go? Home. No. I called you there. You didn't answer. I didn't want to answer. I wanted some time. For what? The time to think, OK? To think about us on my own without being bothered. Oh, and how did it turn out? You're thinking. Where did we end up? It's got a time and a place, yeah? Not here, not now, please. Yeah, here, yeah, now. Honey, I just need to know where you think we are. I need you to believe in me.
Ask what the problem is. Rosa, o que está acontecendo? She pregnant? Oscar. Você está grávida. Oscar, why she's crying? She won't look at me. Oscar. Rosa, por que estás chorando? Você está grávida. You bet it, there's more. I want to know what the problem is. Rosa, por que estás chorando? Se você tiver algum problema, nós podemos ajudá-la. Mas primeiro precisamos saber o que é. She was raped. That's the problem. Get onto the Royal National Institute for Deaf People and then try South Lambeth and Ladbrook Grove Portuguese Community Services. Do you want to write this down? Um, <clears throat> what we really need is a Portuguese signer. Okay? Okay. Did you have a nice holiday? Hi, Maggie. Yes, thanks. Yes. Did Gary tell you while you were away he had an obber at my flat? That must have been very exciting for you. The plumber opposite was dealing and you could see all the comings and goings. Oh, wow. They got him too for cocaine. Good. Ah, oh, Romany. Yeah. I've had a call about a VPU case. It's Frank Parsons. Oh, what now? He's beating up his wife again. Want to call me to the neighbours? Oh, June, I'm completely snowed under. I've just picked up this rape allegation, and we need Yvonne as the Soviet officer. Um, could you deal with Parsons for me? I'd really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, sure. Thank you. Twenty. Right. He's been having sex with her for months. Unprotected? Yes. Is she pregnant from these alleged rapes? She was a virgin when she arrived, according to her. This is what she's written. I lock the door at night as soon as I get to bed. Sometimes it comes before I sleep, sometimes in the middle of the night. He has a key and opens the door. Uh, about force and violence, the word she uses is egoista, self-centered. Uh, self-centered? <sighs> I ask him many times to stop, but he's egoista, self-centered. How does she ask? Like this. She wrote him notes. Can she tell us when was the last time that Mr. Salcedo was egoista with her? She says this morning, which was confirmed by the FMA, definite evidence of recent sexual activity. How much did the Salcedos know about what Rosa said? Nothing definite, but they know something's up because of how she reacted to the wife. You're going to arrest him? Yeah. Can I come? Yeah, go on then. You saved the life, so I suppose you've earned it. Better check it with your duty sergeant, though. Cheers. What do you think of the new boy? Dan, hero type. Certainly took a big risk saving that Brazilian girl. Have you seen her? Well, if you had, you'd know why. As purely brain follows trousers, because she's a nice bit of skirt. Uh, if you're talking about Rosa Martinez, she's not a nice bit of skirt. She's the victim of an alleged rape. Sorry. Actually, Roger, I've got something here you might want to help with. Oh? Yeah, it's a VPU case passed on to me by D.S. Costa. Frank Parsons. He got six months for beating his wife. He's out again now, and the neighbours think he's at it again. Why me? Mm. Okay, but if the wife didn't report it herself, it's probably a hiding to nothing. Number one, you need to polish up your attitude towards victims. And number two, if I ask you to do something and you're free to do it, you do it. And without attitude. Yes, Sarge. Whatever you say, Sarge. What? Don't start on me now. Come on, don't you think he was out of order just then? Do you want to know what I think? 
Really? Yes, I do. The all office flings are bad news. There's always backwash. Always. Rape. You must be mistaken. You can't have understood her properly. She wrote it down for our translator. George Salcedo, I'm arresting you for the rape of Rosa Martinez. Now, you don't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something which you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. My husband is not a rapist. Will you show us to Rosa's room, please? What for? Forensic search. <sighs> do we have any choice in the matter? Well, no, you don't. And we'll also be searching the rest of the house for the notes. What notes? The notes Rosa Martinez wrote asking you to stop. Jenny Parsons, PC Valentine, Sun Hill. May I come in? No. I know he's not home. I just saw him leave. I've got nothing to say. You've got a black eye. Shh. Keep your voice down. I think the neighbours know already, Mrs. Parsons. We've had complaints. How do you get it? Had a bit too much to drink and fell over. I'm here to help, Mrs. Parsons. All you have to do is tell me the truth and we can deal with this. Look, he's just got out. He needs a bit of time to find his feet. Please. Seems to me he's just come out and gone straight back to his old ways. Look, you better leave. You'll go mad if he finds out you've been round. Come on, love. You've been here before and so have I. You're far better off dealing with this head on. You really are. I told you, I can't talk. It makes things worse. At least think about it. You've got the number if you need it. PC Valentine. Have you had sex with Rosa Martinez? No. Have you ever beaten her? No. She said that you have beaten her and that you forced her to have sex with you on multiple occasions over the last four months. And I deny it. Then can you explain who beat her, why she's pregnant and who she most recently had sex with? Is she pregnant? Yes. Could be anybody's. I don't know who she sees. Well, she claims it was you. I don't know why she'd say that. Well, give it a go, Mr. Salcedo. Blackmail. Shame. Fear of deportation. Blackmail? I'm guessing. Maybe she thinks she can twist my arm. How? A single mum's no use to us. She must know we'd send her back. What, you've discussed this with her? I was speaking hypothetically. Are you responsible for Rosa's pregnancy? How could I be if I've never had sex with her? From Lover Boy. When did you leave it? Uh, about 20 minutes ago. I hope you're happy now. About what? If you'd rather listen to your friends than me, then I can't see any future in us. Yeah? He's finishing it. Is he? Yes. Well, I never know with Scott. Sometimes I think he makes a scene just for the hell of it. This is you, this is. You and Steve stirring it up trying to make me think he's a murderer. I never said that. But it sounds like he wants you to choose. Choose what? Between him or your mates. Does she stay here on her own? If she can't go back to the Salcedo's. She doesn't get a chaperone or anything. Anything to do with the case, yeah. Otherwise, food and lodgings as far as it goes. I've got a Gombe TV I could lend her on some videos with Portuguese subtitles. That sounds good. I bet she'd appreciate it. What is it? <laughs> she wants to cook us a meal sometime to say thank you. Feijoada. What's that? Brazilian food. 
How do you say thank you? Obrigado. Obrigado. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Roger, did you want me for something? No. Um, June told me that you were dealing with Frank Parsons. Yeah, I am. I was just checking some background, but I've got it now. It's all under control. Oh, great. I didn't know you had a stepdaughter. Margaret, have you been answering my phone? Well, Brian rang. He wanted to remind you that it's Yasmin's birthday. Why are you taking my calls? I've got a machine for that. If the phone rings, you are not to answer it. Do you understand? What's that? It's, it's for you. It's to say thank you. Aren't you going to open it? Thank you for saving my life. She must be in the fire. I know what she means. I don't need it. I don't need her gratitude. I don't need her getting under my feet. Well, she's only being friendly. Honestly, she's a godsend, that woman. She finds things I didn't even know I'd lost. Good clean as a heart to find. I don't care, Joe. I don't care. I just want her to stop poking her nose in my business. It's a bit harsh. If all it takes is a smile to keep her sweet, don't you think it's worth it, Sarge? Hello? Right, I'll be right there. Where is she? Gone. I came back with the TV and the videos and she was gone. Bags and everything. Did anyone see her? She left with a man in a car. What man? We got the suspect back at the station. Who is this? A boyfriend. Then why didn't she mention him? There's something not right here. We've got to find her. Yeah? You've been drinking? No. You shouldn't even be driving. You're disqualified. I wasn't driving. I just saw you. I'm going to ask you to perform a breath test. What, you were waiting for me? Yeah. What's that lying bitch said now? Just blow into that, will you, please? Ain't you got anything better to do? What could be better than this? Rosa couldn't have been there more than five minutes. She borrowed a mobile off the girl in the next room and texted somebody. Another guest saw her leave and said she was picked up by a young man. Aha, uh -huh. description? I see one, 20, silver car, no index. Did Rosa go voluntarily? Apparently. Find out the number and the service provider of the phone she used. Got it here, Sarge. Great. Then find out who she texted, OK? Oh, any news on the deaf girl? Um, I don't know. I'll check. Uh, doesn't bear thinking about, does it? What? Well, she can't speak, she can't hear, and she's hundreds of miles away from her family. Do you think she was raped? I don't know, but she tried to kill herself. I don't know whether she was or not, she needs help, but she can't do this on her own. What have you done? Arrested Frank Parsons for drunk driving while disqualified, which is probably a parole violation as well, so no bail if we're lucky. That isn't what I asked you to do. Well, if you wanted to deal with him, why didn't you? Roger, are you having a problem accepting my authority? Because if personal history is to blame here... It's not, OK? I did speak to Jenny Parsons like you asked me to. She had a black eye. And did she accuse her husband? Not exactly, as I predicted. She was too scared. Which is why you have to work with her. 
an opportunity presented herself. I worked with that instead. So now he's out of her hair and his problem solved as far as I'm concerned. Sarge. The number Rosa texted is registered to Tim Salcedo. Salcedo? Yeah. It's probably George and Lillian's son. There was a family photo with a boy in it when we searched the house. Well, if Rosa texted the family, I mean, that paints a completely different picture, doesn't it? Not if picking them up from the B&B is them interfering with a witness. She must have invited contact, otherwise they wouldn't have a clue where she was. But Rosa tried to kill herself this morning, Sarge. Who knows where her head's at? Do you have an address for Tim? Yeah. You and Gary chase it up, OK? I was short with you, Margaret. I'm sorry. You and I seem to be rubbing each other up the wrong way. I'd love to sort it out. Are you listening? You know when we first met and you needed help? You and your family were in a very vulnerable situation. And I'll always be grateful to you for helping me. That's what I do, Maggie. That's my job. I deal with people in crisis. And sometimes, inevitably, that blurs the boundaries. What boundaries? The boundary between a professional relationship and a personal one. Maggie, I'm partly to blame, I know, but I think, I think we'd get on a lot better and I'd certainly be a lot more friendly if you didn't do things like answer my phone. In general, you are an absolute godsend, Margaret. Your impact on the station has been wonderful. Mm. Do you mean that? Oh, absolutely, yes. Everybody says so. And I think that you and I can meet each other halfway. And I say, thank you for my present. <laughs> You're welcome. say his name. That scum. That animal. He's got away with it. Like there's a hole in me and then nothing can fit it. I want to help you, Scott. I want us to finish. Part of you, maybe, but what about the other part? Scott. No, I, I know why you doubt me. I doubt myself. I don't doubt you. I, just, I think I'm going mad sometimes. And last night I had a dream and uh, I was holding on to her for dear life and then... She's pulling away from me and... Bits of her came off in my fingers. You're so hurt. You can't deal with that on your own. You said yourself you go mad. You've got to trust me. DC Gary Best. We're looking for Rosa Martinez. Is she here? No. Look, I think you must have the wrong bell. It says Salcedo on the bell. You, Tim Salcedo? Yes. Then we better come in. So where's Rosa? Is she here? No. You picked her up, didn't you? Yes. So where is she? She went with Mum. Where to? To the police station to withdraw her allegation. Why? Because you twisted her arm? No. 
because Mum and I apologised to her for Dad losing his temper. You know, we sorted it out. Sorted it out? The allegation's rape. What? Well, rape's a crime. It's not something you can apologise for. But... I, Mum said it was for hitting her. That's rape and assault. But I, I don't understand why. Well, how about you tell us? I don't know. Uh, maybe she thinks she's protecting me. And why do you need protecting? It's me. I'm the one who got her pregnant. Ron said you were making me choose. I'm not, but it looks to me like you believe your friends over me. That's not true. It's not what you say that counts, honey. It's what you do. How you vote with your feet. You know, I needed you last night and you weren't there. I'm here now. Okay. Right here. Right now. Do you think I killed Karen? No. No, Scott, I don't. Do you think I'd be marrying you if I did? Well, are you marrying me? Yes. When? Well, when this has all calmed down and when it's not so mad. Look, if you wanted to show people, you really wanted to let them know what you think, you'd marry me today. I'm ready. I still love you. And I still love you. And I think we should wait, but if you can't, then you can't. What are you saying? I'm saying go for it. Name the day. Why did Rosa contact you? She said she was in trouble. Why did you contact your mother? To find out what was going on. Before that, did you know that your father had beaten Rosa up? Yes. I was there. He found us in bed this morning and he lost his temper. Oh, he didn't know that you were sleeping together? Yes, but I, I told him we'd stopped. Has Rosa ever told you that your father has had sex with her? No, look, I, I think you've got the wrong idea about Rosa. She's kind of my girlfriend. How long has she been kind of your girlfriend? Uh, about three months. My parents were away and I stayed at the house. And you've been having sex with her since then? Yeah. With her consent? Yes. How do you know? Because I do. I, it was all mutual. You told us that you were the one that got Rosa pregnant. Well, I am. How do your parents feel about that? Well, they've been trying to get her to have an abortion, but she doesn't want to. And to be honest, I, I think this is why she said all this stuff about Dad. What do you mean? Well, well, she's scared of him. I mean, he's been getting on at her about the baby and then he hit her. She wants to keep him away from her. So why didn't you say your son was the father of Rosa's baby? Because the bastard offspring of a Brazilian peasant isn't exactly something to brag about, is it? Especially not a genetically impaired one. Tim saw you at Rosa. He says you lost your temper. We made a deal, she broke it. What deal? She thought she could play happy families with Tim and settle down. And? And that's absurd. Tim has a future, she's not in it. Now, Rosa agreed to have a termination and not to see my son. And why would she agree to do that? She gets to stay in the country. Why did your wife tell your son she was bringing Rosa here to the station when she ain't done any such thing? Look, we only have your son's word and your word for any of this, Mr Salcedo. Now, we need to speak to Rosa. Do you know where your wife's taken her? I imagine she's holding Rosa to her promise, I... Do you mean the abortion? Yes. Where? I don't know. You're already under arrest for assault and rape. Do you want to add blackmail to the list and see your wife arrested? I can't tell you what I don't know, can I? Did you know that today was the date set for Rosa's termination? Yes. She didn't want to go, that's why I went to her this morning. Is that why you went to her this morning and had sex? It wasn't like that. And then later, when you collected Rosa from the bed and breakfast, you contacted your mother. Because I didn't know what was going on, I told what you. What if I told you that your mother's probably taken Rosa to the clinic? She said she was coming here. And you believed her? 
Or was it easier to deliver Rosa to your mother so she could do your dirty work for you? Tim, was Rosa coerced into an abortion? Not by me. Well, where is she? We need to know. Frank Parsons, who was arrested, I'm his wife. Um, I'm Sergeant Eckland, can I help? My husband, he was arrested, but I don't want to press charges, so please, can you just tell whoever needs to know I don't want to press charges? He was arrested for drunk driving. By who? The one that came round? I told him to leave here. I told him. There's nothing I can do. They'll bang them up again for this, won't they? What am I going to do? This is back to square one, but worse. Another spell inside. You think he'll come out with less to be angry about? There's nothing I can do. Where is she? Well, either he uh, doesn't know which clinic she's at or he's not telling. We have to find her. We can't let him force her into it. No, no clinic is going to do the procedure against her will. You were George Salcino. They're blackmailing her into it. And he's beating her. Rosa can't speak for herself, Sarge. And if we can't speak for her, who will? Any joy? Nah, nothing. Where's Posh Boy? Oh, he's upstairs. Don't know what we got to bring him. Not exactly going out of his way to help look. Gary? What? It's a never all clinic, Woodley Eve. Rosa Martinez, the billing name might be in the Salcedo. Room five. Room number five. Rosa! Rosa! Look, you guys are in there. Have they done it yet? But the silly cow backed out again. Right, we need a screwdriver. You told me she had a choice. She didn't. She can't. She can't have your baby. I won't allow it. She's gone out the window. I'll go after her. Both of you have kept your hands to yourselves. None of this would have happened. Both? What do you mean, both? Rosa! 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 It's okay. No, look, look, it's okay. Don't worry. Just calm down. But it's okay. Yeah? It's okay. Obrigado. Right? Obrigado. Rosa! Stay there! Don't move! Rosa, no, don't. Look. Don't you move. Rosa! Rosa? See your Oscar from 315. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Rosa! Come on! Oh, Get him away from me, huh? Tim, 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 Tim. Rosa? Can you hear me, darling? Look, look, don't move, OK? Help's on the way. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Jenny Parsons has just come into the station. Oh, yeah? She doesn't want her husband in jail again. Well, I bet there's a lot of things she wants and can't have. When you're dealing with vulnerable persons, Roger, it's never black and white and quick fixes don't work. You were supposed to talk to the victims and see if you can find ways of helping them. I did, but I also saw her husband commit an offence which happened to be unrelated. Oh, come on, I wasn't born yesterday. He behaved completely opportunistically on your terms. It's not just words. Victim-centred means that that's where you start and that's what you work with. You're telling me I got it wrong, OK? Message received loud and clear, all right. No, not quite. Diesta Costa and I have discussed this and we both agreed. You're going to be working with me on a regular basis from now on. Oh, I'm not vulnerable persons. Yes, Roger. You're going to learn some sensitivity even if it kills you.
I mean, that's all I heard, but talk to him and ask him. What happened? She was running away from the clinic. I had to stop, but Mrs. Salcedo ran up and she backed into the traffic. Yeah, and I had the son just held there, man, but that meant that the mum got away. Wouldn't you have your wits about her? What are the paramedics saying? Well, it's not looking good. <sighs> My colleague says that you and your mother were arguing in there. What about? See that? That's Rosa's blood. If she wasn't hurt enough already, she is now. If you ever care for her at all, you tell me what your mother just said. <laughs> Baby might not be mine. Why? Is it because what Rosa said was true? Your father was having sex with her? Yes. Your mother knew? Yes. Did he rape her? I don't know. So that's why your mother was so keen on a termination. Then she didn't have to worry about which one of you was the father. How did she get Rosa back here? She told us she would be prosecuted. Prosecuted for what? Lying about Dad. Except she didn't. You're coming back to Sun Hill and you're going to tell the investigating officer in Rosa's case every last word your mother just said. Get in. If you want to go back to the station, I can. I'll stay here. She's alone enough as it is. Mum, dear Mr. Costa want me to pop in and let you know they've got a Portuguese signer at the station, finally. Tell them to let her go. Lucy Casper's not going to take this for a while. What's going on? Is he bailed? Yep. What charge? Assault. Tim, sorry. I know you were fond of her. But it's not right. This one's got a statement to make. The mother corroborated Rose's story. She told him she knew all about the rape. Go on, tell him. Like you told me. I don't know what you mean. All right, Dan, just leave it. Mr. Salcedo. She's dead. Rose is dead. What, you think it don't matter anymore? You're a coward. A spineless, snivelling coward. Right. I know what you did. No, you don't. You don't know the half of it. Damn! It stinks! That's enough. He will be charged. You're here for assault, Mum. What about rape? Because we'll have to wait on the forensics. We should do them. Both of them, him and the wife, for murder. Yeah, well, we can't, and you know we can't, so live with it. Get him inside. What's that? Anaesthetic. Do you want one? Um, no. No, I'm all right. You might. When I've done saying what's on my mind. OK. Look, is this about the girl? In a way. Gina. She was young. It was a waste of her life. It gets to all of us sometimes. <laughs> Even you. It's not happy that. Um. I've got cancer. I wanted to tell you before. I don't know what to say. Well, I'll start treatment next week, and I wanted if you cover for me. Well, you have a call to me or anything, that. 
How serious is it? Oh, it's a laugh a minute, so I'm drinking. Um, look, I'm gonna beat this. I'd like to do it on my own, but I can't. So I'm telling you, the super, and no one else. Gina. No, I mean it, Smithy. No, it's a secret, now promise me. Come on. Next time on The Bill. I'll never touch her! Shut up! The shame she's not interested. Excuse me? She did what? This isn't something I normally do. All the more reason to treat yourself, then. I consider myself a victim of police harassment. <laughs> <laughs>